tech is nothing but a tool. You know, back back in the day, dudes would have a sledgehammer. Now you got the jackhammer. Now you got the hydraulic thing, which is <clears throat> this camera here, right? There used to be a those what, what they call a the, the 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 three millimeter, the nine mill, eight millimeter, and them things would make your alignment go out of you you throw your back out of alignment because they were that heavy. And now you got things like a cell phone that can take 8K, 3D, all this stuff in the palm of your hand. Now, um, it ain't the paintbrush. It's the painter, you know, and it's just like the tech. All of this stuff is tech. The tech ain't nothing but tools. And it's just more tools for you to use. But the true tool, the true one and only ultimate tool is this, this, and these. My name is Eric Troy, and what I do is music. And when we say music, we always think of, okay, well, you're a musician, what do you play? Well, it's not so much as what I play, it's what I create. Akron used to do this thing called Battle of the Bands. And it was these funk bands from all around the city. And my uncle thought it would be a great idea to have his nephew, me, to perform with him as the drummer or sit in for one song at a, in a well-known band called Future. And he was like, you look, I want you to play this one song. And that gave birth to Eric Troy the musician as we know today. From that point on, I've been wanting to play music. I knew, like some kids don't know at seven years old, this is what they want to do with their lives. At seven, I knew this is what I want. This, I want to play music. Whatever this feeling is, I want it every day, all day. And because of technology, I'm able to work abroad. So uh, last couple of years going in and out of LA, doing work, come back, doing work, come back. And now I'm here learning more and more stuff, learning how to implement technology, learning how to implement uh, uh, other stuff. It's tools, you know what I'm saying? It's a tool to use, uh, have virtual instruments to create this uh sim these symphonic pieces right and so to create when you hear the music it sounds like wait where did you get this orchestra no that's all me on these virtual instruments you kind of know how that stuff so i'll get a visual arrangement like again i see the music you know when i'm composing and producing and i'll see the whole orchestra while i'm playing you know i see my first, second, and third violins and violas, and I'll see the basses and the percussion over here and the basses in the back and my brass and over here and over there. You, you know, I just see it. And that's how I record it and create it as I see it. So, but using the technology, the, te the technology have created a virtual realm in which I can create from. You know, I can create, I can pull a whole orchestra at the tip of my fingers, you know, because I know how to play musicianship, I know what that horn is supposed to sound like. Not just music, but all creativity is a journey. It's not, it, it never stops. You, you get on that path and then you move and it's a constant movement. And it's just as simple as obey your ideas. That's all you need to do is obey them. Start with something. Don't be afraid to just start. Once you start, the next level will open up and open up and open up and open up. And the next thing you know, you got this big ass thing, or this big old thing. Sorry, but <laughs> you got this big old thing that then, like, you're like, whoa. Okay. So, but yeah, you know, this, this thing excites me. You know, I'm always excited about to live this music. <laughs> <laughs>